Well, even if I say his name, we get sucked into this vortex of awkwardness. And my dad pretends like he can't hear, but his neck gets all red, and then his face pinches up like he's constipated. So basically, Ezra is like Lord Voldemort. Oh, you gave this to me for Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. oh, this poor girl just can't get any peace. Mom, I love you, but can we please just not talk about Allison? I need a break from that. <sighs> you know, I wouldn't take any of it back, and neither would your father. Are you sure this is what you want? When your father and I met, we were so young, but as life got more complicated, it was just harder for us to find ways to compromise. You're talking about me and Ezra were the complication. No, that is just one of the many issues we couldn't agree on. Yeah, but it's, it's the one that drove you two apart. That is absolutely not true. We're just too different now, and that's okay. I don't want to pretend to be somebody that I'm not, and your father shouldn't have to either. Remember when I was 13, and you took me to that grown-up lunch, and you, you made me a promise to allow me to be me? Of course. Mom, you're doing that. By not shutting out Ezra, you're allowing me to be who I want to be. Well, I haven't exactly welcomed him with open arms. No, <laughs> but you don't cringe when I say his name. Or look constipated like your father does. You notice that too? Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe that? Uh, excuse me. Have you seen her? Is she okay? She hasn't come out yet. Look, I get why you're here, and I'm sure she'd appreciate it, but I think the last thing she needs right now is the police questioning her relationship with a former teacher. I thought we were past this. Are you okay? Do I need to talk to them? No, I'm fine. I just want to get out of here. Well, we could still make our reservation. Or maybe we could do this another time. Sure, we could all use a bite, right? Yes. Um, let's go. Mm -hmm.